Hi guys, Julie Veeler here. Got some great stats for you about playoff seedings and Super Bowl champions. Now the current system we employ began in 1990. Since then, we've had 21 Super Bowl champions, 12 from the NFC and 9 from the AFC. But how each representative gets to the Super Bowl from the conference varies drastically between the AFC and the NFC. Let's start with the big boys in the NFC. Of those 12 champions, seven have been one seeds and three have been a two seed. So you're talking about 10 of the 12 Super Bowl champions from the a NFC in the last 21 years have been a one seed or a two seed. The only anomalies, the 07 Giants, which were a five seed, and last year's Packers, the first six seed from the NFC to win the Super Bowl. In the AFC, totally different story. In fact, if you're a one seed in the AFC, you better duck. Guys, only two one seeds have won the Super Bowl from the AFC in the last 21 years. Amazing, right? That was the 98 Broncos and the 2003 Patriots. Other than that, they've gone home losers as the one seed. Those numbers are slightly skewed because when the Bills were making their run in the early 90s, um, three of those four Super Bowl teams were one seeds, but they all lost every time. So those numbers are slightly skewed, but your best bet to win the Super Bowl from the AFC is to be a two seed, a three seed, a four seed, or a six seed, all of which have taken home the Lombardi for the AFC in the last 21 years. So while parity rules in the AFC, consistency rules in the NFC. Either way, really excited about this year's playoffs. Next, we'll talk about who do you take, the hot ball hawking defense or the hot quarterback? Discuss that next, and then at the end of the week, I'll reveal who I think is going to win the Super Bowl. Glad you could join me. Thanks for watching. I'm Julie Beeler.